Hey guys, 18 Dapper here, and we've got a match preview for Scunthorpe United versus Doncaster Rovers this weekend. Let's get the video started. So this weekend, see Scunthorpe United versus Doncaster Rovers, and for the match preview, similar format to normal. We've got previous meetings, current form. Player focus for Doncaster Rovers, ones to watch for Scunthorpe United, and the final bit, a score prediction. On to the previous meetings. Donny's record against Scunthorpe, we have played each other so many times. We have won 28, drawn 22, lost 20. So what is that? 70. 70 games we've played in our history. And on that fairly even between the two clubs looking at the last five games um we've played each other in pretty much every competition going um over the last five games shows that we've got two league games in there uh, a carabao cup fa cup and a efl trophy which is a johnson's paid trophy so every competition is in there um and over the last five donny avenged it we have done well, um, two draws, three wins. Decent. Now, if you want to check out our previous meeting, the match day vlog will be linked up in the top right hand corner of the screen. Now, check that out. It was a decent result, 3-0, happy days. And before you do check that out, let's have a look at the league table. So Doncaster currently sitting in sixth, 31 games, 53 points. Teams in and around us have played a couple of games more. So hopefully I'd sooner have the points on the board than games in hand. Always said that. But if we do win those two games in hand, and it is a big if, uh, Bristol Rovers and Shrewsbury Town, I think are, are games in hand. So winnable games, but we've got to win them. That's, that's the problem. I'd sooner have the points on the board. But if we do get those points, we will be seven points clear of seventh place, which is a nice place to be this close to the end of the season. Looking a bit further down the table, we've got Scunthorpe sat in 15th. Turned the form around a lot since the early season. Um, struggling, I thought they were going to get relegated at one point. It looked destined that them and Bradford were, were going to be down there for the full season. But turn the form around, currently sat on 40 points. Uh, I believe they're seven points away from the drop. So not out of the woods yet, but I think a solid mid-table finish for Scunthorpe this season. Looking at current form in all competitions, Donny, it's not looking too bad. Three wins, a draw and one defeat. That one defeat coming at home in the FA Cup fifth round against Premiership side. Crystal Palace and they put a very very strong side out so a 2-0 defeat there nothing to be sniffed at disappointing but we'll get over it Scunthorpe on the other hand struggling to find consistent form with a draw victory defeat victory defeat it's it's one of those um they're not getting beat consistently but then they're not turning the draws into wins or it's just very, very stuttering form for Scunthorpe at the minute. Looking back at a couple of the games, I think I think we were unlucky against Palace. Um, I thought we matched them for parts of the game, especially between the two boxes. I think we just switched off a little bit at the back for their second goal, uh, and that for me killed the game. First goal killed the atmosphere. Uh, the atmosphere was building all day. I was absolutely buzzing um, and then eight minutes in we go one nil down and it just seemed to seem to go flat I think if we'd have held on for 25 30 minutes uh, a sellout keep mode would have started getting behind the boys and who knows what could have happened but unfortunately went one nil down early didn't see that one nil through to half time I think it could have been very different if we had and two nil the game was pretty much dead and buried but Credit to the players, I thought they put 100% effort in, 
Um, just wasn't our day. Final ball. It's been so much better throughout the season. Just, just didn't quite happen on the day for us. Um, but fifth round, happy with that. I think it's the furthest I've ever, I've ever seen Donny go. So something new for me. Looking back before the FA Cup game, though, some really, really good performances in the league. So I'm hoping we can pick that form back up at Glanford Park. It would be nice. Um, the form before the FA Cup game got us into the playoffs with decent wins against Peterborough and Southend. Looking a bit deeper into Scunthorpe's past games, the last five games, they're all quite low scoring games. So for me, that says that Scunny have changed it at the back, got much stronger, much more organised at the back, but they are struggling to score. But it looks like Lee Novak is going to be in the team on Saturday. On to player focus, like I said in the last, ma uh, last match preview, when it comes to Donny, I do want to be kind of going through every single player um, or giving kind of an overview, overview of each player throughout the season. So for this week, I've gone with Matty Blair, uh, 38 appearances so far this season, four goals, five assists. And the reason I've gone with Matty Blair this week is I thought it, for me, he was my man of the match against Palace. He worked so hard, both defensively and going forward. Uh, but you get that every single game that Matty Blair plays. 110% uh, effort given. Very good player. I like to watch him play. And I've just mentioned Lee Novak for Scunthorpe. Looks like he's going to be in the squad on Saturday. Uh, 34 appearances this season in Scunthorpe's top goal scorer with 11 goals. And this will be Novak's second season running where he's achieved double figures in goals. Last season, 17 goals in all competitions so he is a threat and hopefully Anderson and Downing if that is the centre-back pairing on Saturday will deal with that threat fairly easily we will see so before I give the score prediction uh, I just want to say that unfortunately there won't be a match day vlog I can't make it to the game on Saturday but I will be keeping an eye on notifications for scoreline coming through um, but for my score prediction I'm hoping that Donny haven't got a hangover from the FA Cup defeat um, and I'm hoping they've got a bit of a point to prove coming back into the league Scunny got beat by Gillingham 1-0 last time out so I think Scunny will score but I think Donny will be looking to get back on form so I'm going with a 3-1 victory to Donny if you've enjoyed this vlog, stick a big thumbs up on it for us, please. Subscribe if you haven't already. A massive thank you. We've just broke 1,000 subscribers as well. So to each and every one of you who do subscribe, thank you very much. And as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.